Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today we've got tons of new info on Intel's XE architecture, including high performance discrete GPUs, the RTX 3080 PCB leaked, and tons of info gets confirmed on the RTX 3000 series. But first, head to kit.co slash gamermeld where I give you suggestions for PC hardware. And today I've added the ultimate $1,000 build for Cyberpunk 2077. I will say that I suggest waiting for Big Navi in the RTX 3000 series, which I'll get to in a minute. But for anyone looking to build now, check that out in the description below. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, Intel recently held their 2020 Architecture Day press event, where they revealed a ton of interesting new details about their upcoming discrete GPUs as well as CPUs, so let's go over it. Starting things off, Intel revealed a new transistor design called their 10 nanometer SuperFin. What's interesting about this is that, according to them, the performance difference is as good as a full node change. We're talking a 17.5% performance jump along with higher clocks when compared to their original 10 nanometers. According to them, it's actually the largest intranode performance delta in their history. Next up, Intel went over their upcoming data center processors, and they're definitely interesting. For one, it looks like their Ice Lake chips will support PCI Express 4.0. That's obviously something they need, as AMD has been supporting the new standard for a while now. Well, it doesn't stop there, since their 2021 Sapphire Rapids processors will offer support for both DDR5 and PCI Express 5.0. That's right, it looks like PCI Express 4.0 will only be there for a single generation. And of course, while all that's interesting, I'm sure everyone is more concerned with their upcoming discrete GPUs. And let's just say they did not disappoint. If you remember, the last time Intel shared information about their upcoming XE architecture, we got this slide. In it, they only mention gaming in their XELP architecture, which is really nothing but their low power GPUs, meaning very low end stuff. Let's just say that had me a bit concerned. Well, they just added a completely new field called XEHPG. This new lineup is for mid to high end cards. We're talking hardware ray tracing and all of that goodness. Unfortunately, Intel didn't go into much details here, but they did confirm the new cards will ship next year and they feature GDDR6 memory and are actually made by another foundry, though we aren't sure which. Likely TSMC. Next up for today, an alleged photo of either an RTX 3090 or 3080 PCB was shared on Reddit. Unfortunately, it has since been taken down, but not before it was saved and reposted on Billy Billy. Of course, we don't know for certain if this is real, but it is different enough to most PCBs that it's unlikely to be fake. Still, I can't absolutely confirm it. With that in mind, you may not think that this is a big deal, but it gives us a few huge bits of information. For one, the poster claims that it comes with a chip on the back of the PCB. Unfortunately, he didn't share a picture, but if that's the case, it could confirm the recent speculation of a traversal coprocessor specifically for ray tracing. That was more or less a potential reason NVIDIA used such a different design on the leaked 3080 shroud. It could also explain why these have so much memory, though having a die so far away is still odd to me. Plus, it would likely drive up the cost by quite a bit. Still, this is about as good of a confirmation as we can get. The second interesting part here is the 11 memory modules that, might I add, are really close together here. Obviously, that means this does have quite a bit of RAM. Lastly, we can see it clearly has three 8-pin power connectors, making the high power draw rumors seem very true as well. According to the original leaker, it could be a colorful Vulcan card, but we aren't sure. Lastly for today, we finally have confirmation on a ton of rumors on the RTX 3000 series of GPUs, including GDDR6X memory. See, up until now, that new memory standard almost seemed like it didn't exist. But during a briefing with Micron, they confirmed it, as well as the 3090, which also confirms the 3000 naming scheme. It does look like they've since taken some of the documentation down, but it's obviously real and was reported by video cards who are definitely trustworthy. So starting things off, you can see that this is all about their new GDDR6X memory. And on this page, you can see that they mention the RTX 3090 comes with GDDR6X memory at between 19 and 21 gigabits per second. One odd thing is that it seems to suggest 12 gigabytes of memory, but it shows the Titan RTX with 12, so I don't think it's right to assume this directly correlates to total memory. 
At the end of the day, Ampere is turning out to be a fascinating architecture, and while it's almost certainly a beast, the pricing is likely out of this world as well. So while that does it for today, are you ready for Nvidia's upcoming RTX 3000 GPUs or are you just scared of the price? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.